Wow, good evening everyone. Back at it again. This video today, however, is a little different. I'm not familiar with street photography, but I'm definitely gonna acquire this skill throughout this video, so you'll see my progress. I'm gonna talk about the technique that I'm using and kind of the whole vibe of street photography as a beginner. So I'm gonna head downtown now, get into this video, and kind of develop my street photography skills. So let's document it, let's get into it. downtown. I shot a lot of street photography on the way here, however, I've noticed that the technique I'm using isn't really creating images that I'm proud of. Lately, I've been getting really distant photos and I'm not too impressed by them. I'm gonna try to fully frame. Also, another thing to note is I've been shooting autofocus and I really don't like autofocus. I, the reason I set my camera to autofocus is because I wanted to have quick settings so I don't have to hold the lens at the subject that I'm shooting. They don't even know I'm taking a photo of them to begin with. And now I'm just taking even longer to adjust my settings manually. My goal for the next coming hours is to frame my street photographs more fully. Let's try and upgrade these skills. Let's continue the walk through downtown. I officially switched my settings to manual. I'm over this autofocus shit, the auto bullshit. It's not working out for me. I'm not getting the exposure that I want. I'm not getting the images that I want. I just don't have full control over the things that are going on. So I switched my shutter speed to 1 250th of a second, and I'm shooting at an aperture around f5. Hopefully my manual settings will create images that I'm actually proud of. It's a really like commercialized, foodie, tourist place to be. I'm gonna hopefully find some photo opportunities that I'm down with, so let's get it. back to it. is I'm going to attempt to stop shooting photos of the backside of people. I want more frontal photos, that way I can get their expression, I can actually see what they're about, what they're doing. It sounds creepy, but this is street photography. I'm just trying to get those dope images. speaking right now literally 7 p.m. just hit um, and now the celebration for all the workers on the front line is going on right now I just wanted to say the reflections here are insane they're literally so vibrant they're so bold the reflections are really distinguishable Vancouver Art Gallery right now. 
Uh, I kind of saw some friends there, hung out, rode my bike. That's all I've got today. I'm glad with the photos I got at the park. The setting and the lighting was just impressive. The way the photo came together, I really enjoyed because there's many people in the same image and they were all kind of going about their own business. And, and of course, yeah, I got architectural images with that because it's a byproduct. I'm shooting street photography, yes, but I am also in the city. Design, shapes, you know, material. Obviously, the streets are a little more empty, but I think I found a good opportunity actually right now. So let's close it real quick, see what I can get. Like I said, I was gonna continue the rest of my day shooting manual. I have way more control in my images. You should probably use manual settings if you want to empower yourself with choosing the image you would like. Just auto priority for your camera is just not always the best decision. You're gonna miss good opportunities because you're not understanding the process of how to create a clear image and focus. You also wanna capture motion, so you have to understand shutter speed and kind of piece them together to get the product of what you're looking for. manual settings I captured some pretty cool photographs. I captured those two bikers riding down the street and I also caught this man indoors working on his job. It's looking pretty dry right now. There's not a lot of people on the streets. That's all the images for today so hopefully you enjoyed my attempt at street photography.